Piero knows how excited I am for my next guest. Please welcome Christine Janelle. Pleased to have you here. I love having up and comers on the show. It keeps me young. Thank you for having me. So you are a self-named Dollista of Dalmatian. Yes, that's right. That's also a couple of words that you've made up. <laughs> no, no. What is your Dollista? Is it like a barista who serves dolls? Um, no. It's actually a person who uses dolls to tell stories in an extraordinarily fabulous way. So then Dalmatian, that must be like stop motion animation, right? Well, sometimes I do stop motion animation, but it's very time consuming. Mostly, I actually tend to use dolls as puppets. I can dig it. So, Madam Dolista, you're from the city of brotherly love and what is it? Sisterly affection. Yeah, that's it. Just like the roots over there. Yes, also known as Eagles Nation. I am so sorry they didn't make it back to the Super Bowl this year. Last year was insane. True, but I'm so happy with the way this season ended. You know, once again, we were able to accomplish something that nobody thought that we would be able to do. They said it was impossible for us to even make it to the playoffs. And we were able to erase that embarrassing loss to the Saints by at the beginning of the season. Yes, absolutely. Well said. All right, now tell me, because I am very confused. If you are Christine Janelle, who is Sunel J? Well, Sunel J is actually the name of my production company. Um, I took it for my full name, Christine Janelle Jackson. The Sunel is Christine Janelle J for Jackson. My name is just entirely too long, and I'm not cool like Sarah Michelle Gell or someone really awesome like that to have all three of my name. So I just shortened it down to Sunel J. Where do you come up with the idea for your skits and stories? Me and the stories are inspired by true life events. Some happen to me, some happen to friends that I know or coworkers. And others are just complete works of fiction, just ideas that I get. Um, and also I grew up very much into sci-fi and fantasy, so that influences my work as well. Thus, the pre-series. Yes, yes, exactly. You no, know, these are the stories that I would want to see that mean something to me. And it's about representation and freedom of expression that just isn't there right now in Hollywood. I will say it is getting better, but it's just not fully there yet. And I am very enthused to share this part of myself with the world. So tell us more about the main character. What's the storyline here? What's going on? Um, so actually there's no main character or storyline like I did with the pre-series. For the most part, each episode is going to be its own story, its own little sketch um, where it'll either have a theme or deal with a specific um, issue. Like the next one's gonna be about bullying that I did with my little baby cousin. She's only nine, but she's so smart, so beautiful. Or it'll be just, you know, a funny anecdote or something. Crazy, whatever I dream up. Why dolls? For the cheap labor, obviously. <laughs> it was my best friend's idea. I told her that I wanted to do a channel, that I wanted to tell stories. I knew that I wanted to do, you know, like little plays, or little sketches. I just didn't know how I was going to do it. So originally I had thought maybe like drawing something, but I'm just really not that talented. Y'all don't want to see that, trust me. So um, I told her, I was telling her, you know, my issue. She said, oh, you should just use dolls. And it was like the light just came through the sky and it's opened up the world. And I said, yes, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. It was just perfect. It's very brave and very scary to put yourself out there. To start from scratch at the very bottom of the barrel, so to speak, what would be your advice to anyone who hasn't decided to follow their dreams? Well, you don't have to fear failure, you know? Um, like, I don't have a single regret in my life that involves me taking a chance professionally. You know, only the ones that I didn't take or the plays I didn't try out for. And there's a quote that I love, and I believe it's fully 100% true. Fear and doubt kill more dreams and failure. Talking to you. Ten years ago, you went to school to study theater. Now this is your first major solo project. Why now? What's given you the confidence, especially after all this time? Why now? Why not? You know, and I say that to anyone, you know, what is holding you back? Why haven't you gone for your dream? You now just put yourself out there. You now I've started other businesses before, I've tried other things before, nothing's come of them. But you have to have a short memory when it comes to failure. To know that you can do it and don't give up until you do. I mean, look at what Nathan Chen was able to do last year at the Winter Olympics. The Olympic figure skater. 
you are of course talking about how he failed on nearly every jump on his first couple of performances. Yes, exactly. And But then he came back in his final program and he fought his way back from 17th place very near the bottom. And he even almost meddled. No one expected him to be able to come back from that. You have to have that kind of short memory. Just keep going for it. I mean, look at what the Eagles were able to do. They didn't win this year, but last year when they won the Super Bowl, no one thought we would be there. No one except for us and the players themselves. But they believed in themselves and in their ability to win. So stop waiting for someone to speak life into you and speak it into yourself. Very inspirational. Tell me, what do you hope to achieve with this channel? I hope to be heard. You know, I hope for us to be seen, especially black women. Um, we are individuals, diverse in opinions and personalities. You know, I want to tell the stories that Hollywood won't. You know, and I went through a lot in my adolescence and teens. Major weight gain, bullying, depression. And I even struggled with my identity as a black woman in America. And I also want to grow and be able to branch out, you know? You know, to tell other women's stories from every different background. You were dealing with all of that while in school. Surely they were able to help in some regards. You know, maybe they were, but they weren't very proactive. You know, I really felt like to them I was another black kid with an attitude problem. And I know for a fact, if it had not been for my love for God, I would not be here. I would not have survived and that I can promise you. Every child's life and mental health is precious. Mental health needs need to be attended to. Not swept under the rug, not told you're gonna get over it, learn how to deal with it, but that it's okay to talk. Be more open and be more proactive when it comes to young America's mental health. But I just want there to be something out there that while it is entertaining, it's absolutely real. Like portals and creatures with superpowers. <laughs> right, right, yeah, no. Um, I mean like emotionally real and obviously really fun too. <laughs> Dude, we're supposed to switch again. There will be no challenge here today. Gotta go. No, bloody uh -uh. hell. You're clever, charming, creative, relatable, and obviously quite humble. Yes, it's one of my favorite things about myself. I can't wait to see more of what you have to offer. I wish you all the best success. It was an absolute delight and a pleasure. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, I really appreciate it. What kind of forever? darlings thanks for watching i'm lena star and hero of the unawakened adventure please take a moment to like comment share and subscribe to this channel if you're here from our insta fam or facebook just use the menu in the top right corner to open this video in the youtube app lena oh dear hey there you are the falcon has been looking all over for you i know that's why i'm here I had to put Sam in a bit of a timeout. Say hello to the viewers. Hello to the viewers. Come back Saturday after next. You'll see a show about colorism and bullying. Well, I thought it was about twin shenanigans and black love. All of the above, darling. They're a big family, a lot goes on. Ooh, sounds exciting. You definitely don't want to miss the next episode. It airs in two weeks. See you then. Bye-bye. Ta-ta.